The shoes. <gasps> My save does transfer, right? Oof, nobody. I wonder if the suspicion will go up if I get. Oh. <laughs> From now on. Oh. have any more Joel Sama characters. Start going to her head. Oh, what? Hmm. Did she actually do that? <laughs> oh, wait, uh, I was supposed to be. Could you not hear yourself, Lass? Parading into St. Walpurga's place of worship, howling and shouting like a. Please, old Jokin. Jokin? Words of egotism, vanity, disdain for your fellow folk. <laughs> oh. I've always known you were wicked, you arrogant lassie. Oh. Hi, you. A witch. <gasps> a witch of old Holly. A witch of old Holly's kin. Oh, listen here, you old wretch. I've heard enough. Old Jokin, Jokin has a... I always feel... I don't, I don't know how to say his name. Has overstepped his boundaries. I ask that you pardon him. Yet, his concerns weigh heavy, Elise. Oh, I wasn't aware singing and... <laughs> she actually singing? <laughs> I wasn't aware singing and dancing was forbidden now, father. <laughs> Your singing was riddled with sin, lass. Vanity and lust go hand in hand with greed. Your... What does any of this have to do with sin, father? This old geezer just accused me and my grandmother of witchery, yet... Not Felix. Compose yourself and come inside. Your temperament, te temperament is a sin in and of, in of itself. <sighs> Ooh. 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 
should I? Should I? You know, I didn't like how how she was looking at the end. <laughs> I love her. I guess I'll repent for something I didn't do if that if it makes you happy. <laughs> uh, yet there's something I'd like to make clear to you all. You've stood witness to this foolery. You've all heard old joke and accuse me of witchery. That's enough, Elise. You asked me to pardon him yourself, father, and I will. Yet I demand you folks understand this once and for all. I am not a mere maid of all work. I am one of you. I demand right here, right now, that you start treating me as such. Very well, Elise. You've made yourself hurt. Hmm. What? Without a shadow of a doubt, lass. <gasps> At last, he's made his move. <gasps> Who are you? An old acquaintance of yours, lass. What? You're favored by him, Elise. Frightfully so. You're clad in his will from head to toe, inside out. And those shoes... My shoes? Those very shoes, Elise, are a testament of his gift to you. Who is he? Listen carefully now, my beautiful lass. <sighs> Get away from me! Ew! Yours is his heritage, his flesh, his ardor. Don't you understand, Elise? How do you know my name? His blessings, his will. He himself is writhing in your veins, lass. What do you want from me, old hag? <gasps> you must click. listen carefully now, my beloved. Do as I say, and he will make all your wishes come true. My wishes, you say? Why, yes, opulence, splendor, fortune, your deepest desires, unlike any other, Elise. I don't understand. You do, Elise. Tell me, what is it you most desire? Uh, me? Speak it, Elise. What I most desire, that's fortune. Fortunate you are, Elise. Uh, deep in this woodland, there's a pa patron saint whose blissful word bestows a blessing upon the faithful. All that's requested in return are three gifts made from the testaments to one's desire. Reach his dwelling with all of these in hand, and your wish shall be granted. A womb, carrier of life. Your basket is to hold all that is sacred. Oh, the tender flesh of earthly desire. The sweetest nectar to be drunk in earnest. You are to arrive in good company, the object of your affections. <gasps> you are to reach the gates of his dwelling, carrying all three gifts. But why do we need a, another person? Voice your innermost desire. Surrender yourself wholly to his grace. fortune you shall attain for such is his blessing and such is your desire what 
Elise, Elise, are you listening? Huh? Where does she go? Oh, are you alright, Elise? Where did that old hat go? Elise! What's the matter with you? Oh, um... I'm sorry, Lev. It's best we let her rest a while. We can sit with you, Elise. Oh, it's best we give her some space, Jacob. Uh... I'm alright, I, I felt a little dizzy is all. I can bring you some water, Elise. As for me, I'll be in church waiting to have a word with you. <laughs> oh no, she's mad at us. Don't you start, Leb. Well, I've already started. <laughs> My, now you've done it, Elise. For goodness sake. I thought I'd never find you, Elise. Oh, what now, Miffy? It's here. I don't have food for you. Shoo! Shoo! What, Elise? It's your... My what? Your friend! <gasps> Rosemary? The last with the funny hat. She's right outside. Take me to her, Molly, right now. What the fuck? My, you're covered in dirt, lass. Uh, I'm... She's so funny looking. Look at her silly hat. Angelica, don't be rude. Do you know this lass, Lisbeth? Alicia, she's from Primaldorf. Oh, I'm not from Primaldorf. I've never had a... Why, I haven't the faintest idea, Ariane. Uh, I'm looking for Elise. Have you seen her? Elise, do you know her? We do happen to know Elise, but how do you know her, lass? Elise said she's adopted. When did you hear about all this, Melly? Uh, everybody calls her <laughs> the wrong name. Oh, if you'd please tell me where... Look, Mama, she has a tiny scarecrow. Forgive me, but does anyone know where I can find Elise? Rosemary! Elise! What are you doing here, you... So you do know the last Elise? Uh, yeah, she's... Think, Elise, think! A distant cousin from Primaldor! Why, you don't have cousins, Elise. <laughs> I do recall Dolly's mother had a sister, but I never met her. Yes, exactly! Rosemary here is my aunt's granddaughter! Ah, it's Rosemarie! Oh, I'm so very pleased to meet you, Rosemarie. Ah, uh, thank you! Anyhow, it's getting quite late. We'd best move along before... Ah, but do tell me, my dear. How long have you known you had a cousin? Fuck. Gr Granny Holly time. She said Rosemary in here might show up one day, you see? I never got to meet my aunt before she passed, but I'm glad I got to meet my cousin. Ah, I see, I see. And she turned up just in time for the festival, too. Mama, mama, can the funny lady come play with us? Uh, I wouldn't mind. I don't want to bother you, Rosemary. You're all very welcoming, but we ought to move along and... On wonders, Elise. How did you meet your cousin, then? Uh, it's such a silly story, isn't it, Russell Marine? Ah, uh, yes! That's right! In fact, I took her for a beggar when I first laid my eyes on her. <laughs> you certainly did! <laughs> oh, the poor lass. I was on my way to Kieferberg, you see. That's when I saw her. She asked me if I knew someone named Tolly. Oh, how fortunate! You ought to stay for the festival, Rosemary. Uh, most certainly. Well, as much as I love to sit around and chat. Yes, it's a pleasure to meet you all. It's a pleasure to know you too, Rosemary. We'll be on our way then. Come, Rosemary. Uh, goodbye. Ooh, nice. 
completely lost your wits, Rosemarine. I'm sorry, Elise. I knew you had a bird's nest for a brain, but this is too much. Uh, well, you know what you did. <laughs> I'm sorry, Elise. I didn't mean to. I was chasing after Flock, you see. Frickin' mistake, Rosemarine. Why not let him frolic about? That's what goats do. It's like the laundry I was tending to right out of my hands. I couldn't let him ruin your sheets. Alright, well, we didn't do too bad convincing the townsfolk, I'd say. I'm sorry, Elise. I didn't mean to trouble you. Forget it, Rosemarine. That's alright. Telling you it's fine, Rosemarine. I feel all I've done so far is trouble you. Which isn't a complete lie now, is it? <laughs> yeah, I do enjoy your company, so... Oh, <laughs> Elise! Anyhow, we ought to keep our story straight. Maybe if we tell them I came to lend you a hand with work. That's it, Rosemary! Huh? Alright, listen carefully. Granny Holly told me about you and her auntie long ago. Your grandmother's gran Granny Holly's auntie, which makes us di distant cousins. Yes! So you heard about the festival and came about to Kieferberg to meet Granny Holly. Yes. Last Saturday, we just so happened to bump into each other by the crossroads. You asked me about Granny Holly, and that's how we met. I don't understand, Elise. How does that relate to what I said? Why, you liked Kieferberg so much, you wanted to stay and lend a hand. Oh! You're a kind, charitable, loving soul who wants to help with the festival. That'll keep them from asking too many questions, I'd wager. I think that's a great idea, Elise. That, this being said, Rosemarine, you're going to home right after nightfall, you hear? I don't want you hanging about these about these folks too much. Alright, Elise. We're making it happen right now, then. Let's go. Here we go. Love. There she is. Yeah. And then I gotta remember to eat bread again. I'll go buy bread. You'll start to grow roots standing there all day, Lev. <laughs> Why, I'd make for a rather pretty flower, don't you think? For goodness sake. <laughs> a little cheery for this time of day, don't you think? You're the one who's had an eventful day, Elise. <sighs> Too eventful for my taste, even. Mm -hmm. There's plenty to tell me about then, isn't there? Why, I think not. Can we just spend time with you, Lev? Elise. <laughs> now sit. Sit. Right there. Sit, sit. Uh, uh. Now this is what I came here for. <laughs> Beat standing, wouldn't you say? I spoil you a little too much, I say. Not like I'd have it any other way, anyhow. You're telling me all about it later, Elise. About those shoes, and about that lass. Alright, alright. Now one more word about this nonsense now, you hear? Fine. Still, Elise, I thought you knew. Knew what? About what happened earlier today. Oh, it's probably best I tell you about it later. <laughs> I think you're a proper nun. More like an imp. You're truly so easy to tease, Elise. Ah, oh, shit! <laughs> You'd better not be hiding anything from me. You get to keep secrets, yet I don't. So there is something. I wouldn't say I'm keeping it from you, but... You'll think I'm untrusting, Elise. What? You see, I've been thinking about you. All of Kieferberg knows you won't stay here forever. Will you? That's a different issue altogether, Elise. Seems to me they're quite the same, if I'm honest. Be that as it may, what am I to do when you're gone, Elise? Oh, you're... how to put it? Your only comfort in this dull place. <laughs> You're also very much irritating, like an imp, I'd say. <laughs> Am I now? Terribly so. Didn't think I could read you this easily, did you? Mm -hmm. My, I might just throw you in the well at this rate. <laughs> a 
I might drown, Lev. Then you'd really be left without me. Lee! I'm well aware, Lev. You're not the only one who thinks fondly of what we have, but... But? It doesn't mean we can't be together someplace else, does it? You hadn't thought of it like that, had you? Anyhow... <laughs> I'll be waiting for you by the fountain tomorrow afternoon. Don't be late, Elise. For goodness sake. Ah. <laughs> it is oh, there you are, Elise. It's quite late, isn't it? <laughs> Spare me the earful, Rosemary. What's there to sweep out here after nightfall, anyhow? Oh, I was keeping myself busy until you came home, is all. And Flock here was amusing himself chasing after the broom. Okay. Weren't you, Flock? Oh. What's for supper, then? Hi. Oh, I made grape soup. <laughs> soup? I figured we could both use something hearty. <laughs> we have eggs! What about the eggs? <laughs> I cooked those, too. I thought we could toast some of yesterday's bread to have with them. Oh, thank goodness. Did I do something wrong? Eggy toast ought to be enough for today, I suppose. Let's head inside, Rosemary. What? That's nothing. Elise, wait! It's tastier... It's tastier than it looks, isn't it? Could have been worse, that's for certain. Anything tastes good when you're hungry, I find. I suppose today went well, all things considered. I best keep an eye on her, lest those folks... Say, Elise, I've been meaning to ask you something. Hmm? Those shoes you found this morning. What about them? You still haven't told me much about them. I've seen them before... Before in my dreams a long time ago. In your dreams? Elise, is there something you're not telling me? I don't know where to start, Rosemary. I've been avoiding thinking about it, but this morning in Kieferberg, I... Our fates, Elise. They're finally starting to align. Huh? Oh, never mind. I saw an old hag, Rosemary. She told me about this patron saint in the woods. That he grants folks wishes if they bring him gifts. So it's true after all. You've heard about all this before? <laughs> carry on, carry on. She said I must bring him three gifts. The tender flesh, sweetest nectar, and good company. Oh. Oh, Elise, that's wonderful. What else did she say? Did she mention your fate? For goodness sake, Rosemary. You're scaring me with all this nonsense. <laughs> There's nothing to be afraid of, Elise. How do you know about all this? It's an old folk talk my granny used to tell me. A folk tale? Carry on now. What else does she say? Hmm. So she, like, sees it positively. Huh. She mentioned finding a dwelling in the woods. But he will grant my wish if I bring him the three gifts made from these testaments. You told her your wish, didn't you? I did, but it's nothing out of the ordinary. It's... Don't tell me! You can't tell other folks about your wish, Elise. Rosemary, you have to tell me what's going on. All I know is what Granny told me, but... I can tell you all about it, Elise. I can help you. Rosemary, I... I need to think about this. I'll be here tidying... Tidying up. You can ask me anything you'd like. Alright. Okay. Rosemarine. You don't have to look so frightened, Elise. It's all very overwhelming, is all. Oh, Elise. Isn't fate such a wonderful thing? Enough of that, Rosemarine. What are these testaments and gifts? Ah, of course. In order to meet him, you're going to have to gather the testaments to your resolve. These are tools and ingredients you'll have to use in crafting the gifts. What? Common courtesy to bring your host nice gifts when visiting, isn't it? Huh. 
Ah, there's also the trials, but I can tell you all about his folk tell later. Alright then, for now, I want to know... Uh... Oh. What is a tender flesh? I don't quite like the sound of it, but... Oh, you're the one making it sound bad, Elise. The tender flesh represents your body, the vessel for your soul, so to speak. A representation of my own flesh, then... All that matters is that it carries a part of your mortal body. Huh? It's nothing to be afraid of, Elise. It can be a nail clipping or a strand of hair. What's important is the connection between you and the symbolic vessel. A symbolic vessel? Rosemarine. What is the sweetest nectar? It's not as though I don't have an idea, but I don't quite like it. It represents your vitality, Elise. Your essence. You don't mean... All that matters is that it carries a part of your mortal body. Part of my moral body, huh? I know what you're thinking, Elise. That could be it. That's what you're inclined to bring him, but... What is it, most Rosemary? These are meant as proof of your resolve, first and foremost. It's your determination that's most important, Elise. Huh. Rosemary, what is the good company? I don't know what to think of this one. You should meet him when your soul is at its most vulnerable, Elise. At its most vulnerable? Granny used to say good company brings one's innermost self to light. One's true face, in other words. Rosemary, I'm not sure I understand. Why, it's love, Elise. Love? Love reveals all, wouldn't you say? I suppose. I need time to think. I still can't wrap my head around this nonsense, Rosemary. That's alright, Elise. I'll be here if you have any more questions. I think I need a moment. Hmm... Just another girl with a wish. Doesn't everyone have a wish or two? Not at all that meet him, do. I was once what you'd call the good company. Despite these red shoes. What? <gasps> the object of her affections, I suppose. What are you talking about? I was forsaken in his den by the one I loved. Whoever you bring to keep him company, bear in mind this will be their fate. Good company. Aww. Where is she gonna be? Oh, she's right here. <laughs> I didn't even see her. I knew you'd come about, Elise. You seem to know everything, don't you? Not at all, but feel free to ask me anything you'd like. Alright, well... Who is he? You said your granny used to tell you this folktale. He's a patron saint, Elise. He grants folks wishes for a heavy price. A heavy price, huh? He, whose name has been lost to time, is a benevolent entity. It's said he can grant folks wishes if they show him their resolve. Personally, you have to acknowledge his invitation to meet him. The shoes, I suppose. That's the only explanation. If you do, he will then welcome you to his trials. Trials? If you do clear them and show him your resolve by doing so, he will give you a testament. Alright. You will then have to use the testaments to craft him gifts. And go out into the woods, gift in, gifts in hand, on the night of a full moon to summon him. Sounds an awful lot like a cautionary tale. Oh, but we're now finding out it's more than that, aren't we? I suppose. I'll have to find out for myself whether that's true or not. Who are you? You haven't told me enough about yourself. Well, how to say? I'm a strong believer in fate, Elise. Fate, you say? I've dreamed about you, about Kieferberg, your home, your shoes. Ever since I was born, I've known my fate was with you, Elise. I don't understand. Those dreams were premonitions, I'm certain. They stopped the night I reached Kieferberg, which can only mean that... that I am currently living out my own fate by your side, Elise. I find that very difficult to believe, Rosmarine. I know it all sounds very strange, but my granny told me everything I know, you see. About nature, about the cosmos, faith, and about the woodland. The woodland, you say? She told me all sorts of tales from the past. 
about our community, about its origins, and our patroness Walpurga. Rosemary, that's rather... Isn't it such a coincidence? Both our patr... Pa Patronuses... Patr... Uh, have the same name. <laughs> has to be fate, at least. Um, not too sure about that. You see, some things had yet to make sense to me until recently. I didn't understand my own dreams for a long, long time. Or why I could sense, see, and feel things unspoken. Why folks called us foul names, or why Granny preferred to sleep under the stars most, most nights. Yet it all fell into place, Elise, as she told me it would. Fate will guide you if you let it. All you have to do is trust your instincts. I suppose. Huh. This time we're waking up. We're waking up in our room. I can't sleep. Can't stop thinking about all this nonsense. Hmm. Everything that old hag told me about the testaments, the gifts, about him. What Rosa Marine told me too. I find it hard to believe, but maybe, maybe it's true. If I do gather these testaments, if I do find my way to him, maybe I can finally leave this wretched town and live the life I'm meant to live. Start anew, someplace far, far away. This could very well be my chance for happiness. Mm. I ought to at least try. I have to go to the woodland and find out right now. <gasps> I don't think you should go. 